Yo, what is going on my YouTube people? This is Gavin Acity here again with you for another video and today I have the Operator School video for Alibi. In my last video I covered the Operator School video for Maestro so go and check that out if you haven't seen it already. But both Maestro and Alibi are the two new operators that will be joining us in Siege with the new Operation Parabellum. If you are new to the Operator School series, basically how it works is I go over each and every operator in Rainbow Six Siege and grade them on a scale of 1 to 10 in three different categories being weapons, gadget, and then versatility. And then lastly, I give them a final overall grade and tell you why I think you should use them. But with all of that good stuff out of the way, we're going to get right into Alibi and who she is. So Alibi is an Italian defending operator who is a one armor, three speed, and she is part of the GIS CTU. And her gadget is the Prisma, and basically it deploys holograms of Alibi that tags hostiles when fired upon. And as usual, we're going to cover her gadget a little bit later on in the video, but we're going to get into the first category of weapons. So for weapons, I have given Alibi an 8 out of 10. Overall, she has a very powerful arsenal as well, similar to Maestro. And the reason I did take off a couple of points is because of her main primary weapon, which is the MX4 Storm submachine gun is a bit of a pea shooter which is the first gun that we're gonna get into a little bit more and it's a little bit frustrating because the gun pretty much in all other ways is a great weapon it has high fire rate but the damage is kind of low and there has been instances where I've been outgunned by the attacking team just because they had a higher DPS weapon or if they were a heavier hop they just absolutely tank unless you hit them in the head with this gun but if we take a look at the in-game stats of this gun as of the TTS it does 26 damage it has a higher fire rate of 950 rounds per minute the mag cap is 30 and the recoil according to the TTS is supposedly bugged and the MX4 storm is more accurate in the TTS than it is supposed to be so we will see when they do make the servers live but as of the TTS the recoil is very very manageable and this gun is good because of that the low recoil and the high fire rate but again I do get very frustrated sometimes when I feel like I've engaged in the gunfight I shot that person first I should have no problem in killing him but they kind of tank and you get killed anyways but as for how I like to run this weapon I prefer the hollow sight but sometimes I will occasionally use the reflex and then I use an angled grip so I can get faster aim down sight time and just kind of snap onto the enemy as well as a compensator for the barrel attachment. And then as for the second primary weapon with Alibi, you have the ACS-12, which is the same fully automatic shotgun that Maestro has. I talked about it in Maestro's Operator video. It's an absolute beast of a weapon. I think it suits Alibi a little bit better because she is a roamer and she is three speed. She can move around the map quicker and close distances between the attacking team much faster. So I think it suits her a little bit better than it does Maestro. Looking at the in-game stats again, it does 27 damage. It has a slow fire rate of 300 rounds per minute. So if they are at a range and you aren't hitting all of those pellets, they can outgun you. So you want to really make sure you're getting up close and personal with this weapon. Again, it has a 30 round drum mag. And although it does have a lot of recoil, because it shoots at such a slower fire rate, it's not very hard to manage at all. And then as for how I like to run this weapon, I would say reflex sight, although the sight doesn't really matter so much since it is a shotgun and you might be hip firing. And then I use the vertical grip to help manage some of that recoil as well as a laser sight since it is a shotgun and lasers seem to be most effective at least on shotguns. I do want to slightly touch on the secondary weapons since they are so powerful with these Italian operators. We have the Bailiff, which is the shotgun pistol that is a revolver as well. It's very good for creating murder holes or just kind of rotations, maybe shooting out a hatch or something like that. And then you have the Kratos 357, which is also a revolver, but it shoots an actual kind of bullet. And again, as I talked about in the Maestro video, it's pretty much overpowered. It can just about two-shot anybody. Rule of thumb with Alibi as to which weapon I would go with would generally be, if I'm using the shotgun, I'll go with the Kratos because it shoots an actual bullet and I can get a little bit of range out of it. And then if I'm using the MX4, I might use the Bailiff. However, the Kratos is just so damn good, I have a hard time not picking it. Also to keep in mind, Alibi will have impact grenades, so if you are running impacts, I don't really see a point in running the Bailiff, you're probably better off using the Kratos. 
But now that we've kind of talked about her loadout and her weapons, we're going to switch over to the next category of gadgets. So for Alibi's gadget, again, I have given her an 8 out of 10. Again, her gadgets are these kind of holograms. You get up to three of them to use. They stay on the map infinitely unless they are destroyed. And you pretty much only can destroy them by shooting the little metal plate at the bottom of the feet of the hologram. You can use an explosive. You can knife it, although you probably will get scanned because if you shoot it, walk through the hologram or even drive your drone through it you will be tagged you can also twitch drone it find it with iq however if you do emp it with thatcher it is only a temporary disable and they will kind of pop back up if you don't destroy the base part of the hologram the pings aren't op in any way they're similar to jackal it's about five pings very very quickly literally will stop in a couple of seconds but overall i really like the idea of alibi's gadget again i think it's kind of in a place where you can do very powerful things with Alibi, but she's not necessarily overpowered. I think as of right now during the TTS, she hasn't been proven to do anything super insane that the other operators couldn't do. Maybe in the future they might limit her to only two holograms instead of three, but I honestly wouldn't be surprised if they leave her gadget alone because, again, she's very good, but she seems pretty balanced. Her holograms are very fun to use and it's interesting to see the different tactics that you can play with her. You can kind of put all three holograms down and fake being one of them in the middle leaving the enemies guessing which one to pick. And by using that hesitation of the attacker you might have enough time to help you win that gunfight. You can also just kind of place it at head glitch levels that are in common spots. Maybe then getting an attacker to shoot that hologram. You'll have an exact ping of their location. You might get the one up on a gunfight as well. The list goes on and on. She also has a nice passive ability of not being identified when you go outside. You do get detected. They will see the icon, but they won't know exactly which operator it is. And that goes for your whole team. So you can throw her gadget outside, have a hologram, and it will tell them that there's an enemy outside. But since it is a hologram, it won't move, so it's a little bit easier for them to tell that it's a hologram. But they're still going to constantly get that notification that there's an enemy outside. Just overall, her gadget is a lot of fun, but it's not necessarily the most impactful, so that's kind of why I dropped the two points. But moving along to the last and final category of versatility. So for versatility, I have given Alibi a 9 out of 10. I think she can just about do it all. She's... Honestly, perfect for roaming. That was kind of her intended purpose. She has the perfect setup for it with the amazing close range weapons as well as the impact grenades that kind of facilitate rotations and maybe even put her hologram in a rotation hole so an enemy thinks that she's there when you're really not. As well as she can be pretty good for anchoring sites if you kind of place them around in common spots and then just kind of choose somewhere where the enemy's not expecting. But the only thing, I don't think she is the best operator when it comes to super long range fights. Especially since her SMG is kind of a pea shooter, you might have some trouble as well with some of the heavier operators. So now that we've talked about all three categories, we're going to move over and talk about her overall score. And the way that numbers play out, she gets an 8.3 out of 10. And again, I think this is a good representation for Alba. I think she's a very powerful operator, but I think she's a very fair operator. There's many ways around her hologram, especially if you're droning out, you can see where they're placed, even though she can kind of pick them up and move them how she wants. But there are ways of identifying and getting around the holograms when you're an attacker. I think a lot of people might cater more towards Alibi since she is kind of that roaming, high pace aggression type operator. So as for why you should use her, it's good to have Alibi on your team when you want to have a heavy roam presence. As well as if you're planning on playing very aggressive as a team and whole because you won't get identified as to which operators outside so you can throw those holograms out on one run out and then have an actual person on your team run out from somewhere completely separate flanking the enemy. She's also just perfect for making the attacking team just kind of hesitate and waste a little bit more time second guess their decisions and give you a potential one up in the gunfight. But with all of that said, that will pretty much wrap up this video. I really hope you guys did enjoy it. If you did, please make sure you hit that like button. I greatly appreciate the support. Also comment G Squad down in the comments if you stuck around to the end of the video, as well as anything else you feel down below. Maybe let me know what you would give Alibi in terms of a grade as an operator. And lastly, if you are new to the channel, do not be afraid to hit that subscribe button. And as usual, you guys have a good one. Peace.